Get in, loser. We're going to Kentucky. Yeah. I locked the door. Here, What's going on? You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I see you recording already. We officially begin our trip to Kentucky. We got the Chick Fil A for the ride. What's Check up, it out. Let's go on. Get the mask, brother. We are ready to go. Got I just about said KFC. What the? Fuck? It's gonna be a rough trip. So we're heading out, and let's get started, guys. What's going on guys? Alan and Luke here for the Mash Brothers and we are at our very first store for our bourbon trip. We're here in Kentucky. We've got a whole weekend full of just fun, cool little trips. Going to as many liquor stores as we can. We might actually end up hitting like 30 by the time we're done. Eh, we'll see. It's the week or two before the Kentucky Derby so we're going to try and find as much as we can but let's go ahead and get right started. Let's do it. That's Bourbon of the Month Club. Bottle of the month sampling includes five 50 milliliters tasting cards and an educational tasting mat. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Oop, as I drop it. So this one is Dickel, Traverse City, uh, Woodenville. Eh, I kind of heard these other ones, but pretty cool if you guys are interested in trying some bourbon a month. They've also got the Derby bottle with the uh, mint julep glass. That's pretty cool that they have that as well here. Whole bunch of those. We have a 2XO Tribute Blend. I haven't seen this one before. If you guys know anything about these, let me know. I've definitely been wanting to try some of the 2XO, just haven't tried these ones yet. Got the American Oak. I can get that a little bit cheaper in Ohio. Jim of Kentucky for 179. It's probably the cheapest I've seen it. I think these ones are usually 200, and it's pretty cool it's actually signed as well. I've been wanting to try this one too, the Copper and Kings. I've heard some cool things about that one, especially with their sonic aging. I keep mentioning that one. I mentioned in the last video I was down this way, but still haven't pulled the trigger on it. $63, maybe next time, but still a pretty cool idea that they're doing with that one. So is there anything specific that you're looking for while we're hunting, Luke? Not really. Not really? Not nothing specific, but yeah. you know, just look around see what they got. Yeah. If there's something that's really good price, then maybe, but not really. Yeah. A whole bunch of different type of bitters. A whole bunch of different bitters. So you guys need some Henry McKenna. That's probably one of the better deals that you're going to see on it here in Kentucky. $70 for the Henry McKenna 10-year. Also the Heaven Hill, $60. It's about on par. I think it's about $55 now in Ohio. Some more bottles back through here. Don't really know any of these. Bunch of different odds and ends. And then again, you have the giant massive wall of just whiskey. And scotch and Irish whiskey down through here. Um, got a bunch of Willet, some old Bardstown sitting here. Again, a bunch more 2XO sitting up here on the shelves. Kentucky Wild Spirit there for $80. Russell's 10. Still haven't picked up one of these. I've been wanting to. The first experience I had with it, I wasn't a big fan, but $42, not too bad of a price. Blue Note Crossroads. I've heard a bunch of people saying these are also really good bottles to pick up. Haven't done it yet, but maybe here in soon. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof for $73. Got about all of the benchmarks sitting here. I've picked up a few of these in the past. We've had the single barrel, and then I have the basic, the eight year. I've had the eight year as well. And then there's a couple other ones that I've tried. I'm not the biggest fan. I'd honestly would rather get it for an ancient age over a benchmark, but that's just me. We also got the Traveler, plenty of it here for $40. Some of the new Four Roses single barrel and the small batch logos. Haven't seen these ones yet. So it's the new updated logo on those. Some new Lou weeded. I've been wanting to try new Lou. Oh, it's a single barrel too. Party. That sounds pretty good. How much do they want for that? 73? Maybe. Oh, we're trying to be a little selective today. Anything you've seen yet, Luke, that's been stand out to you? 
Not really, no. Um, you got a huge Woodford Reserve section over here for the Derby. They have a nice selection of the uh, Penelope line that we like. Oh yeah, a bunch of the Penelope sitting up here. Barrel strength, toasted rye, the rosé for anybody that's been looking for the rosé. I've heard a couple people say they've been looking for those. It's wilderness trail. I've also been wanting to try that stuff. I don't, I don't know if I know the difference between. So if someone knows, I see this one small batch, this one single barrel. So if you guys have any recommendations, definitely drop those down in the comments. Let us know what we should pick up here in the future. Heard good things about this K Luke too. 117 for that bottle there. This is a cool, I don't know why, but this is just a cool little pin hook bottle. I just think it's neat seeing like a little mini dip bottle like that. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's got the barrel seagrass dovetail sitting up there. I've also heard some good things about the old Route 8 and the old Louisville. I have to let me know if you guys, if I should have picked that one up if I'm missing out. Yeah. Got the RD1. I've got a store pick of this one. It's a private select. It's another one of the Amberana ones, so a single barrel, four-year aged whiskey at 117.26 proof. Um, little hint, we're coming here to, we're gonna be going to Jephtha Creek and trying that out here soon too. Some bottles I'm looking to pick up this weekend if I find an even better deal on this, but I will be coming home with a soft red wheat this weekend for sure. It's one dollar less than what it is in Ohio. Super busy in the store today. A lot of the smoke wagon, you know, we're big fans of the smoke wagon. My personal favorite, the uncut, the younger. They have the straight rye up there, the malted rye. No Christmas or Fourth of July bottles. Though. No, I'm still looking for those for you. Got the uncut unfiltered for $79. Not too bad. And you got some Japanese whiskey. Let me know. We have not tried any Japanese whiskey yet. So if you guys have any recommendations for Japanese whiskey for us to first try, or scotch even for that, we are not big scotch drinkers, but definitely would like to try out some and see see what there is. So if you guys see anything that uh, you guys recommend, we'd be happy to try them. The cool part about Party Source is they're doing a bunch of samples all the time. So you can actually come in and do sampling while you're here. They usually have different places come in and check out. And I know they were actually, I heard that over the intercom, Luke, they were saying that they have the uh, Starlight that you can try. So oh, might have really? to try the Starlight Blackberry before we leave. Yeah. Okay, so I could do a really delicious Kettle One Citron Lemon Drop. I'm okay. a huge fan of Stirrings mixers. Love the bottle. I reuse them and make my own mixers. You, you usually use those. They're delicious. Yeah, they're delicious. Let's try the lemon drop. The lemon drop sounds good. That was the winter chicken dinner tonight. Anyway. Yep. Checking IDs. Yep, you are good. Ohio. Hey. Hey now. I'm kidding. Thank God. 55. I didn't think I'd be on. And I just dyed my hair and still it didn't cover the braid. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really. That's really good. Yeah, that's a winner, chicken dinner. It is. Uh, it's a lot of it is. So we mentioned the little RD one single barrel uh, selection they had. This whole area. Let me zoom out for you. This whole area is their store picks. So a whole bunch of store picks. It was really cool. We've never seen the single barrel Angel's Envy with this bottle. That's a new one for us. Um, whole bunch of starlight here. I did hear they were doing the uh, blackberry up front for a tasting, so that's pretty cool. Some OKI, again, the RD1. Some like scotch, we've got some more rye whiskey up there, Nashville Barrel Company, Whistle Pig. Whole bunch of cool barrel picks that they're doing here. And even it's doing rum, so that's pretty cool that they're doing a whole bunch of different picks while they're here. If you haven't had a 1792 foolproof pick, it's good. Is it? It's really good. So they got that. Did I slice that? Oh, they do. They have one bottled and bond left here. Are you sure about that? Oh, that might be a pickup for me. I do have a foolproof at home right now. But that bottled and bond, that, that might be a cool bottle pickup. That's also cheaper than what I paid for it in Ohio as well. And $55 for a store pick? I, I would go for it if I was you, Luke. That might not be here when we come back through. So Luke didn't get anything, but I came out with the 1792 bottom bond. Came out to, I think after tax, um, right around $45. So not too bad of a pickup. I know these are about 
40, the 50, 50, 50 yeah, about fifty dollars here in Ohio. That was the last one. Yeah, this on was a the big rack. That was the last one. There was a store pick in there too. Yeah, it was the foolproof. He tried talking me into getting it, and I was like, I've never one. I've never tried it before. And Which two, you need to. It is. I will I say, out of the seventeen ninety twos that I've had, the foolproof is the best one. But if it's still there on our way back on Sunday, maybe I'll get it. Okay. Well, I will definitely. I'm excited to pick up this one. I've had one before. Traded this for an Eagle Rare in the past but never actually got to try it. So I'm excited to get this one and get it for a try. And especially for $42, I'll take that deal all day long. Right. All right, to the next store, we've got Costco coming 20 up. 20 minutes. We've got 20 minutes to get there, and they close at 8.30. At 8.30. We'll get there at 8.04. So, so my driving, we'll get there at 8.10. Yeah, I'll get a kid him to step on it this weekend because Luke drives like a grandpa. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully we make it there before they close, guys. So wish us luck. So we're hoping that they're still open. It's eight o'clock. We're not sure if the store closes at eight or 8.30. We're really hoping it's the 8.30. The store closes at 8.30, but- The liquor store might close the liquor early. liquor store might close early. So this is either gonna be cutting it close or we're just gonna be fucked. So let's hopefully, hopefully get some, but we're right here. Wish us luck. All right, so we did make it in time. Again, for the Derby, they have these cool rocks glasses, the 150th anniversary. Pretty cool little pickup. They also have the four pack of the mint jewel glasses, $15 here. So a lot better deal here than what they had at the party source. So we're gonna be doing a tour at Knob Creek, but they do have the single barrel 120 proof, exclusive barrel selection. Cool little store pick they have here. Some blade and bow, if anybody's out there looking for blade and bow, only $40. Wild Turkey Rare Breed, $48. It's always a good bottle to pick up. They have probably the cheapest I've seen. It actually has the star, so it's mentioning they're not gonna be getting more of these. $67 for the uncut, unfiltered. It's a really good deal for that one. I know for a while people were looking for Old Granddad. A bunch of it here for $23. Some more of that Heaven Hill, again, even cheaper than what we saw at the party source. A bunch of stuff. I don't know if you guys have Costco in your area but you can always get like bottles way cheaper here than you can anywhere else. Old Forester 1920 for 50 bucks. These Jefferson Oceans, I don't know if you guys feel about them. I've tried them. I'm just, I haven't found a batch that I really like. They always end up being a little off, like salty or tasty even for me. I know it's aged at sea, but I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of the way it tastes. Again, you see the four roses, the old, old logo versus, oh, the old logo. Versus the new one. Definitely like the new one a lot better. See anything else that's standing out to you here? Out, they do have, because I know we were looking, I know you're doing the pick or the, what's called the tour. They do have the seventh or er, Knob Creek mm. here, the store pick of 120 proof. So it's here? a higher proof, yes, yeah. down at the end. It's a pretty good price. They also had the smoke cut, unf cut unfiltered, and it has a little star beside it. So, like here, with Costco, if you have these little star, it means they're not getting another shipment of it. So it's the last of it. So it's the last you'll see of it. It's the same with that old tub. Knob Creek 30, 10 year for $35. That's the cheapest I've ever seen that bottle. Great bottle for ten or for a 10 year old whiskey. You got some rabbit hole over here as well as some Baker 7. $56 for the Baker 7. Again, we're going to the distillery and gonna be checking out some some of that while we're there. It's a bottle I haven't tried before. I know you guys like your, I've mentioned that you guys like your Irish whiskey and your scotch, so some Red Breast 12. I do have this bottle at home. It's an amazing Irish whiskey if you guys haven't had that one. And then as for the rest of it, guys, I am a noob when it comes to scotch and all that stuff. So let me know if you guys see anything. I'm not picking up Fireball. We know that for sure. But if you guys see anything that you would have picked up, you let me know in the comments. It looks like your basic kind of fare down there. And then we just got a bunch of beer over here. We'll get back and see if there's any other whiskey down here where Luke's at. You think about getting that? Think about it. I definitely like it. I like that they have the new bottle logo here. This is the first I've seen of it here. It's of course not a single barrel, like barrel strength, like I have. I do have right. that bottle as well. Both very good bottles. That's the small batch select. It's actually a few dollars more than what the single barrel is. I know it's usually about, but it's about $10 more roughly. But $39 for that, that's a great deal right. for that bottle. Especially for a solid 100 proof, a little bit kind of rye forward whiskey. 
definitely recommend that one. Anybody's had that? Again, I know nothing, but I just see the very rare and here. So let me know if that's a good whiskey or not. 289, a little too rich for my blood. I have had the Johnny Walker Blue Label. I do enjoy that one. I just, $200 for scotch. It's a bunch more bourbon I'd rather get. Great deal for the Woodford Double Oaks. $50, solid bottle there. And then they got your huge 175. If you guys are needing a handle of anything, they've got just about all of it. See if they have any slam dunks of the uh, maker's mark. Some heavy ones, but no slam dunks. Yep. yep. So Alan was wrong. It's a four pack for $10. So, if you're in the Kentucky Derby, this is a hell of a deal. Yeah, and it's for that for the mint julep glass or the rocks glass. So the and mint they, julep's 15 for four. Oh, 15. So, yeah. $15 versus 10 So, that's honestly not a bad deal for that. Uh -huh. If I was really into the Kentucky Derby and really wanted or make one of those. And you, yeah. And mint juleps and stuff. That's really cool, though. The it's rock, got all the winners and if, stuff of the Derby. If the rocks glass had what was on the back of that, I would get them. But it just says Kentucky Derby 150 but if it had, because on the back of it, it has all the winners on it. If it had this, then I'd get it. Yeah. So you're getting your first bottle today? First bottle today. So Luke's picking up the Four Roses single barrel. He hasn't had it before, so. And it's $10 less than it is in Ohio, so. That's gonna Good be a, deal. That's going to be a pickup. Good deal. About this uh, $430 Patron. Or tequila. <laughs> For real. I... Anybody that drinks tequila? Blech. I drink tequila. No, absolutely not. It. All right, the next stop is Stadium Discount Liquor. Um, as you can see, they actually have a bunch of cool little bottles here, but the, you have to be part of the rewards program to be able to purchase these bottles at that certain price. Kind of disappointing. You do have to be a rewards member to be able to have the opportunity because they've had some really cool bottles. I've never seen a 1792 small batch store pick before. That was kind of cool, but bunch of cool bottles they had the rye there of the jack daniels it seems like every store down there actually had it here again there's that 1792 single barrel select never seen that before um and on this wall you're gonna find pretty much every bottle you can find with the wellers eh taylor there's eagle rare um, a whole bunch of different allocated bottles that are kind of hard to find and come by but the only issue is that you do have to be a part of that rewards program so you're putting in a lot of money to this place in order to even come across buying them first time i've ever seen the ofc the old-fashioned copper um like i said really sought after bottles and it looks like they even had a little tasting area as well So it had a bunch of different like Bardstown, the whole 1792 collection, a bunch of the special rabbit hole, Angel's Envy, some Willet Purple Top, and different bottles over there. All the Knob Creek special editions that they have. I mean, this store had everything. They had the entire rainbow lineup of the Weller lineup, as well as Blanton's. And they actually did have, as Luke mentioned, a cool little tasting area where you can actually taste the bottles. They actually had the screw top early times. The only one we saw the entire trip. I kind of made a bet with Luke that would find one. I struck out, but I did see that one. Finally, you see King of Kentucky, some E.H. Taylor, Splanton Gold, Straight from the Barrel, more Elmer, all of the stuff. Daniel Weller, first time I've seen that out in the wild, but all these, of course, were not for sale. And it's first time I've ever seen an experimental collection from Buffalo Trace as well. All right, so didn't end up recording like audio at the last store. We walked in and they had the music bumping when we got in there. It was a whole out party. There was a lot of people, it was literally loud. It was really loud. Not a place I'd probably recommend going late at night, mm -hmm. but as you saw, had a cool collection. They had a lot of stuff. Now, like, you, stuff that stuff that I had been one, they had the tequila with that was aged in bourbon barrels that it was really hard to find in Ohio. They had rows of it. Yeah, they had a lot. Um, and they had McKenna, very well priced, sixty four. I think it's sixty nine back home. Buffalo Trace was a little bit higher priced. Yeah, there. it wasn't the best prices we saw for that. But as you guys saw, they had an insane like back liquor cabinet, mm -hmm. even a little cool little tasting area. Yeah. The problem is with like that, and I think I kind of explained it to Luke. Luke's kind of new to like bourbon hunting down here in Kentucky. Is, Second time down here. Yeah. So a lot of these places will have almost like a rewards program, so they'll have great prices like that you guys saw in the last clip. But the problem is, is like you have to spend a lot of money and be a dedicated mm -hmm. like store shopper at that specific store to have the option to shop at those stores. Like I think I saw that they had twelve well or twelve year and foolproof for around MSRP. Yeah, like what $60, 70 dollars probably. I'm or pretty even sure less. I saw it for forty nine. Oh, then yeah, even or less. maybe that was 
Maybe that was Weller. Yeah, well, or I mean, red. Well, you guys, red was, you guys got to see what the prices yeah. were. But still very cool to ever even just see the autos while you're out hunting. Unfortunate that, like, I think the one was 5,000 points to, like, yeah, even just have the correct. option to buy a Koi Hill. And who knows? That may be 5,000. You may get one point per dollar. Yeah, you're paying so, $5,000 before you even get a chance to buy that. Yeah, but if you're loyal to a store and you're like, hey, I mean, you're going to probably do good business with there and they're going to look right. out for you, which right. we totally recommend. Like, make good connections at your liquor mm -hmm. stores so, like, with the people you work with or that you buy from. Talk to them. Yeah. Say hi sure. when you go in. So, pretty excited. We're at the next store here. This is Good Spirits here. I'm not sure what town we're in. We're in the Covington, Florence area. Yeah, we're heading out of out of Covington back towards Florence. So, yeah. I think we got up a buttermilk. Is that an airplane? Oh, it's a train. Oh. I'm like, I just heard something super loud. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> it sounded on? like fun. Anyway, we're going to go check out Great Spirits. Hopefully, they let us record, but we'll go check it out and see what they have. So they have a cool little tasting bar here. Green River, I am excited. I do want to try that weeded bourbon. I've been wanting to try that. Oh, they do have the Russell Single Barrel too. I've never tried one of these. Been wanting to try it. There's a Traveler here too, Luke, if you were wanting to try the Traveler. Sagamore Rye, that's a good bottle. I haven't had the 2XO before, but I've heard good things about that as well. I give you a good sip. Like, that is a good sip, I it's, appreciate it's that. It's a good sip, okay? Normally we don't give so much, you know. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. How is it? Try it. Oh, I'm good. He's, we're just trying to get <laughs> Yeah, he's a driver, but we're also trying to get him to where he likes drinking it straight. He's still. I like it mixed in like old fashioned. Old fashioned is my favorite. Okay. <laughs> so we're getting him there. You, you will not find the liquor store will let you try this. Oh, well, we can try that here? Yeah. Oh, that's what's, awesome. What's that? That's really not so easy to find one. It's not very easy to find. So this is Old Route 8. Okay. It's a, I forget which distillery. Which distillery is that? Is it a, Augusta? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Augusta Distillery. Eight-year-old. Here it is. Aged eight years, 120 proof. Yeah. So my first time ever trying this one. See you, take care. That's good. Is it? That's really good. Here. Got a bug flare on you. That one I like better than a lot better than 2XO. Oh, yeah. It's got a nice oh, smooth a like at the end though for yeah. me. Yeah. But yeah, a little bit smoother. And it's funny because that's 92 proof and that's 102 or 120. Mm-hmm. And that did go down a little bit smoother. Yeah. It's but very special. I didn't take a very big swig. But. That was really cool. So we got 1792 foolproof here, $60. The bottled and bond here for $80. So we also have seven single barrel 1792 here as well. Is that the oh yeah, that's so that's sixty dollars for that single barrel. Ooh. Toasted oak. Never heard of that one. That one's a new one for me. We got Elijah Craig private barrel down here barrel proof nine year $109 for that one here got more bottled and bond a whole bunch of 1792 here at this store the Jack Daniel single barrel rye 70 $70 and then we just tried this here the old route 8 their uh, barrel pick totally recommend that one that one was really really good got some old scouts here as well some Jefferson's got a regular Woodford Reserve good spirit store pick as well as Knock Creek. Oh, it's, a, it's a single barrel, barrel select, and it's a weird, it's not the normal Knock Creek bottle. Oh, really? It's like a different one? Yeah. So we also got a double oak store pick here. They're wanting 70 for that one. It's not too bad of a price. Or will it pot still? Oh, perfect. But Luke just found a cool bottle that he's wanting to get for someone special, so that'll be a cool one. So Luke said earlier is Knob Creek pick. It is different because it is not their typical Knob Creek bottles. You can get the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit here for, and that's the 2XO actually, for $48. Didn't even see this here. They got the Bookers, which batch is that? That's the Storyteller batch for $120. Some Blade and Bow, some Peerless Bourbon. Is it the Double Oak? Yeah, it's the Double Oak there. That's for another $100. Buffalo Trace, $42. This store's got a lot, man. We haven't even made it to like the bourbon section yet. This is like just as soon as you walk into the first part of the store. 
I really like this store. And the guy was like super interested in like He's the very YouTube nice thing, too. super nice. nice. Heavy pours. Yes, yeah, he's very nice with the pour, very generous. Again, there's that single barrel, barrel proof rye. There's a bunch of it down here, as well as the Jack Daniel single barrel, barrel proof. Very cool store, big selection. I think it's just about it down through here. So we got the package deal here. If you guys want to pick up a E2 or single barrel, again, this gentleman's cut with it for $344. Oh, they've got a Woodford double double oak with that old route for $243. And then you got an Elmer for $389 with a Kentucky Senator. A little mini guys. A little double double. Ooh. So it's a package deal. You get the old route eight that we got with the Woodford oh. Double Double for two forty three. Oh, yeah, a little, loud. A little pricey. <laughs> She's like, Just, you're good to record as long as I'm not in it. <laughs> I got Knob Creek twelve year here, Luke. I've got more of that batch proof we saw at the last store. Again, the first time I've seen the single barrel out. Got the barrel proof Bernheim. Knob Creek 18 year there as well. Got the Wild Turkey Generations as well as the cool uh, Angel's Envy. I forget exactly what that one is. You got someone in the comments will tell me. I got the new 1924 from Old Forester too, Luke. I got the Jim of Kentucky. I saw that one a little bit earlier too. So we just finished here at Good Spirits. Coolest store of the trip so far. Yep. Like, yep. I think the guy, his name was Fred. Did he tell you what his name was? I've, I'm so sorry. I've caught, forgot your name if I missed yes, it. You but this. You um, awesome. he's a guy from Germany. So cool. So knowledgeable. Got us some really nice pours. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really cool to do. Like, I mean, I've never even tried that um, Augusta. Hey, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's new for, it new for Luke. Yeah. So very cool to come and check those bottles out and had a great selection. Price was a little bit higher than what we were wanting to spend for some of those, but some bottles I'm definitely interested in. That Augusta right. 8 with the Woodford Double Double Oaked right. almost got me. If it would have been a little bit cheaper, right. I there might- was, There I'm, was a bottle in there that I wanted to buy and I had it in my hand, but then I went on OHLQ and it was uh, 36 instead of, and they were, they were 45. Mm -hmm. But if I can't find it anywhere else here, I want to stop, stop back, back and yeah. I want to get it because that's the only place I've seen it in the lot. So. Yeah. So then we're going to end the trip there, guys, or for the first part of our trip. As we said, this is a three day bourbon hunt. So we got most of the distillery, or not the distillery, no, tomorrow's Bardstown. So we're checking out Bardstown right. area. Might stop at Buffalo Trace on our way down there. We're in Northern Kentucky now, so on the way there. So if you guys and aren't- Jep the Creek. Yeah, check out Jep the Creek as yeah. well. So we got a couple of them on. Yeah, so if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. We're trying to hit that 1,000 subscribers. So help us get there. Let's do it, guys. Um, anything else you wanna add? Where else they can find us? You can find us on YouTube. Obviously. Trying to get us to 1,000 subscribers. You can find us on TikTok. Try and get us to a lot more followers. I think we're 11, 100, 1100. Let's get that number even higher. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram. Yeah. We do a lot of post things on there. Pictures, videos, shorts, stories. Uh, Facebook, we don't do a lot on Facebook, but we're we trying should, to, we're gonna get know. there. Um, you can find us on all those. Give us a follow, give us a like. Tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Yeah, let us know feedback. what what can help us in the future, guys. So greatly appreciate you guys checking out the video. Until next time, see ya. I'm Alan. I'm Lucas. And we are watching the Mash Brothers channel. See ya.